Top 10 New Animes with Genius Main Characters Enough time has passed since we last did a video on genius anime main characters, and guess what guys? Here, we have a complete fresh roster of anime geniuses. From a genius detective to a genius tactician, even a genius player, we've got ourselves all sorts of geniuses in today's video. Oh? Ron Komonohashi's Forbidden Deductions Starting from number 10, the first genius we have is Ron Komonohashi from Ron Komonohashi's Forbidden Deductions. We're talking about a genius detective with a mysterious past. His genius lies in his ability to easily understand and dissect complex criminal cases. Now, he was expelled five years ago after he got involved in a murder case. In fact, he was going to be executed but ended up getting away with just expulsion. Of course, you're going to have to check out the anime itself to learn more about his circumstance, but let's just say that his deduction skills are so overwhelming that even his detective license was revoked. Number 9. Tomodachi Game. Moving on to number 9, we have Yuchi Katagiri from Tomodachi Game. He is the same kind of genius as Ayana Koji from Classroom of the Elite. Yes, he is a master of psychological and strategic thinking. He can manipulate just about anyone, and more often than not, he does it as natural as he breathes. A genius of psychological warfare, if you will. Speaking of the premise of the anime, it's about high-stakes games centered around the theme of friendship, and let me tell you that the further along you are in the story, the crazier it gets. This manga is hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> number 8, La Chorus Recoil. Next at number 8, we have Chisato Nishikigi from La Chorus Recoil. She is a genius when it comes to combat and strategy. Seriously, in a story where the government has employed young girls as assassins, she is by far the strongest, most exceptional one of them all. And it's not just about her physical abilities. Chisato's genius also shines through her strategic mind and quick thinking. Although, like most other anime geniuses, she is also the kind of person who doesn't take her duties very seriously. I guess that is what happens when you're too competent, eh? Number 7, Hell's Paradise. Following Chisato, we have Gabimaru from Hell's Paradise. He is basically the same kind of genius as Chisato, but unlike her, he is always occupied with his duties, even if that duty means finding the elixir of life to reunite with his wife. From tactical acumen to emotional detachment, not to mention the strength and skill to overpower just about anyone, Gabimaru is basically a human weapon. The story also does a fantastic job of gassing him up as a mutant prodigy too. I'd say if you want a shonen anime with a peculiar protagonist, this might be it. <laughs> <laughs> Number 6, The Apothecary Diaries. Moving on to the next one. How about a genius apothecary from ancient China? At number 6, we have Mao Mao from The Apothecary Diaries. The story is set in ancient China, and our main character is a young girl who gets kidnapped and sold to work in the imperial harem. But there is one thing that quickly sets her apart from other servants. We're talking about her extensive knowledge of both medicine and poison. And it's not just about the knowledge. Mao Mao is special because she uses 
Her understanding of pharmacology and toxicology to not just save lives, but also solve mysteries. She is the kind of girl that can notice even the most minute detail, and you can always count on her to figure things out. Indeed, Mao Mao is a genius apothecary with insane intellectual prowess. <laughs> Number 5, Shangri-La Frontier. At number 5, we have Sun Raku from Shangri-La Frontier. Wait, Sun Raku is actually just his gamertag. The man's real name is Rakuro Hizutome. He is actually just a high school student who specializes in crappy, trashy games, but thanks to that kind of gaming, he has become a genius gamer. When he finally plays an actually good game, we see him demonstrate his genius through his gaming strategies and deep understanding of game mechanics. Thanks to the trashy games he has played, he also knows exactly how to exploit glitches and algorithms. <laughs> Number 4, Freerun Beyond Journey's End. Following this, we have Freerun Beyond Journey's End, the highest rated anime on my anime list. It follows the story of an elf mage from after she and her party defeats the demon lord. We get glimpses of her genius every now and then as she continues to travel the world even decades after the hero's journey. And as for what makes her a genius, I'd say that throughout all the fantasy anime protagonists we've seen so far, she is the one who best represents one's mastery of magic. She is a brilliant mage who possesses both the skills and the curiosity of someone who is best described as a genius. Number 3, Oshinoko. At number 3, we have Oshinoko. This is an anime that explores the dark, somewhat twisted world of the entertainment industry. Our main characters are children of a young idol, and well, they are also reincarnated individuals who still have memories of their previous lives, and an interesting premise, and speaking of our genius main character, it's Aqua Hoshino. Maybe it's because of his previous life that this boy's genius also lies in his ability to understand human psychology. He understands human nature, and he is not hesitant to use people to help him achieve his goal. It's somewhat dark and somewhat tragic, but also pretty wholesome sometimes. Hmm. Number 2, your boy Kong Ming. Next, what do you think of legendary Chinese strategists from almost 17 centuries ago? At number 2, we have Kong Ming from your boy Kong Ming. He was a legendary Chinese strategist whose strategies are still studied to this day. Now, what if he was reincarnated in a modern day Tokyo after his death? Well, that's exactly what happens. He finds himself in modern day Tokyo, teams up with a young singer named Aiko, and then braces himself to use his mind to help her achieve her dreams. And no joke, it doesn't matter if he needs to somehow summon an audience of 10,000 or to get noticed by big shots, he can ingeniously mastermind a plan for basically everything. <laughs> It's party time. Number one, solo leveling. All right, we're down to the number one anime, and it's solo leveling. 
Remember how at the start of this video I mentioned how we'll also be talking about a genius player? Well, we've already talked about Sunraku, but Sung Jin Woo is also the same. He is a genius player whose genius lies in his ability to adapt. From carefully planning and observing to surviving in any situation, Sun Jin Wu's genius is not just in combat but in his ability to evolve and adapt. He is, in every sense of the word, a genius player. It's like how Stephen Hawking famously said, intelligence is the ability to adapt to change, and Sun Jin Wu best represents that statement. And there you have it guys, these were my picks for the top 10 new anime with genius main characters. I'm sure there are many other animes that could have been on this list, so if you have any in mind, definitely share them with everyone in the comment section down below. As always, a like and subscribe will be most welcome, and if you're feeling particularly giddy about these anime recommendations, that super thanks button is always ready to be pressed by you at any moment now. Yup, any and all support is genuinely appreciated, and with that said, I'll see you guys on my next video.